I'm Scott King, I'm the Executive Director of Mission Zero. This is one of those projects that I am super excited about, and I think other donors in the local community would be as well. The Solar Decathlon is a national competition put on by the U.S. Department of Energy. It's an intercollegiate competition in which colleges form a team and then they compete in designing and building a net zero energy home. CU rocks. They've entered this competition four years and three of those years they've won this competition. And uh, this student team I've worked with and they are amazing. They are as dedicated as I've seen. They're well organized. They've got great advisors. These students are designing a home, a home that is going to be uh, shown on the national scale. It's going to have uh, an incredible amount of press coverage, and it's really going to be a project that lives for 60, hopefully 80, 100 years from now. And this house is actually being built in a, a part of Boulder, which is a low-income community. It's a mobile home park. And this CU student team is trying to transform this neighborhood from energy and inefficient mobile homes into low-income housing that's highly efficient. The first phase is that of the design competition, where students are engaged in just the design of the building. And the second phase of the competition is the construction component. What we're trying to do this year for Solar Decathlon right here in Boulder is introduce a plan for affordable housing that can be replicated. So this isn't just going to be one home. We're trying to kind of set a standard that can be used moving forward in multiple applications and one that's efficient and resilient. What can that future home look like where you have resiliency, energy storage, and a livable environment that doesn't have a negative impact on our climate? Climate change is present whether we see it every day or we don't. When we have this orientation towards changing and knowing what is the most effective, what means of reducing our, our carbon emissions, that is empowering. It was the fact that I can do something bigger. That's the thing about climate change. Everyone sees it. The real question is like, what are we going to do to acknowledge this and to revert what we have done to this planet? So what we're looking for is donors to help some of the more expensive elements of this house, such as the hydrogen storage energy systems. Hydrogen storage, for example, isn't the most cost effective right now. It has a really high upfront capital cost. Um, but the same thing could be said about solar um, decades ago when it first came about. It had the highest levelized cost of energy in the industry and now it has one of the one of the lowest and you see it on homes all over the country. What's the cost of not solving climate change? What's the cost of now rebuilding your home every 20 years instead of every 60 years due to um, these severe weather events? The reason I think this project's interesting for donors is it it's a combination of raising up the standard of living for a low-income neighborhood with sustainable building and also showcasing technology that can start to impact climate change. There is people that are fighting like us, doing something that is going to change their community. And in the end, it's everyone's dream because it's a community. That's, that's Boulder.